Five Tips for Making Great Wine On the homestead, we make a lot of our own wine. This year, we're probably going to bottle close to over 60 bottles. None of our homemade wine is made from online kits or retail shops. The wine we make is made by harvesting our own fruits and ingredients and made from scratch right here on an American homestead. We love to enjoy a good wine, and really the process is quite easy to master. But there's a few quick tips that we have learned along the way that will give you an exceptional end product. Number five, using charred white oak. Do you want your wine to stand out from the rest? The big name winemakers you find in stores all store their wines in oak barrels. They do so because the white oak brings out a flavor of the wine that you will not normally achieve under other circumstances. White oak barrels are expensive. But I have found that if you add just two to three white oak staves to your five or six gallon carboys during fermentation, the oak expels the wonderful tannins and flavors held within. Be sure to use white oak. The other oaks in hardwoods will not give the same results. And lightly toast your oak before adding it to the wine. This will add the flavors and the color that the big name wineries on the market have with their wines. Tip number four, add rice or bananas to your wines. This is a recent trick that I learned from a pro who's been making wines for years. And now I add rice or bananas to all my wines. Adding the rice or bananas to your wine really sends your working yeast into overdrive and just adds that special touch to the wine. Some will say that you need to boil the rice first in order to release the starches. But this is not true and hasn't been the case for me. Add about a half a cup of brown rice or wild rice and or banana slices to your wines to give it an extra kick. It really seems to bring out the main fruit flavors of the wine while at the same time getting your alcohol levels correct. Tip number three, use a proper airlock. I have had many people who have tried to make wines use all kinds of things to cover their wine during fermentation. During this process, the wine is giving off lots of carbon dioxide. You need to let these gases escape, but at the same time, you don't want outside air getting in. Many people who have failed attempts at making wine try to cover their wine using plastic bags or balloons. These methods rarely work. A proper airlock for your carboy or bucket is essential at success. Airlocks are affordable and only cost a few dollars online. Buying a proper airlock will help you avoid exposing your wine to possible contaminants. Tip number two, use vodka in your airlock instead of water. The liquid in your airlock is the only barrier keeping foreign contaminants out of your wine. It allows CO2 to escape and keeps oxygen out. Many people simply put water into an airlock system. However, water over time can harbor and breed bacteria and germs that can harm your wine. An additional way to ensure that no outside contaminants reach your wine is to use vodka in the airlock instead of water. Vodka is high in alcohol and because of its high alcohol content will kill any germs or bacteria that make its way into the airlock, thus further protecting your hard work. Tip number one. Keep your equipment clean. Every time you begin to work with your wine, be sure you're using clean equipment. Everything that comes into contact with your wine needs to be disinfected and free from any harmful germs. Fermenting is a process where yeast is hard at work turning sugars into alcohol. Any foreign contaminant can totally screw things up and cause your wine to have harsh flavors. There's lots of chemical cleaners out there on the market for winemakers. We don't use any of them. All we use to clean our equipment is hot boiling water. Every piece of our equipment first comes into contact with boiling water before it comes into contact with our wine. Dirty equipment is a big reason why wines don't turn out right. So there you go, the five tips to make exceptional wine for your home. Tip number five, use charred white oak. Tip number four, try adding rice or bananas. Tip number three, use a proper airlock. Tip number two, Use vodka in your airlock instead of water. And tip number one, keep your equipment clean. As with anything, making good wine comes with practice. So make a few batches and see how things end up. If you're gonna make a lot of wine, more than a couple dozen bottles a year, we also highly recommend getting a floor corker model for bottling. They really produce a consistent and attractive result for all your hard work. Plus, they are so much easier than the hand corkers on the market today. For more great videos, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time on an American Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. 
Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.